Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. I hope you all are having a fantastic, magical, amazing day today. I know that you are because that's the intention you set when you woke up today. Yes, Aries, I'm telling you, some of y'all exes, I'm talking about ex-significant others, ex-colleagues, ex-family members, ex-whomever are really trying it. They really trying it, but that's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. we got something for them, don't we, Aries? Yes, we do. Oh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Let's get these cards shuffled. Let's get these cards laid out to see what stories these cards are telling. Because I'm telling you, some people are starting to recognize your power because you recognize your power, Aries. Let's run it down real quick. Aries have strong leadership. You all have amazing self-confidence, positive energy. You're brave. You're creative. You're confident. You all are enthusiastic. You all are courageous. You're determined. You're opt optimistic. You're honest. You're passionate. Yes, 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 Aries. Do not let people drag you down trying to project who they think you are onto you. Even if they had a horrible experience with a low vibrating Aries, they, are, they have not experienced you. So let them know by your aura that they're not bringing that mess over there to you. You don't even receive it, right? Yes, you're only receiving the truth, which is again, let's run it back. You all are creative, you're brave, you're po you have positive energy, amazing self-confidence, strong leadership. You all are determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate, and courageous. And add some more into that, right? Sugar and spice and all things nice. <laughs> Go ahead with your bad self, Aries. I see you. All right, let's do it. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Aries? When I tell you, Aries, who oh, that people are cray cray for real. <laughs> trying to come back into your lives after they screwed you over and after they tried to push every single button they could possibly push to try to set you off for you to go from zero to a thousand. Now that you have tapped into your divine feminine energy and you're sitting there looking at them like, mm -hmm, I know what's about to happen to you. Karma's about to, <laughs> karma's about to pay you a, a visit. Yes. Karma's about to pay some people a visit. And trust me, for some of you all, karma is right there. I'm telling you, you all have a front row seat. I know a lot of you all um, uh, text me and during some of the personal readings, you all are like, yeah, queen, I saw your video about don't you dare disrupt their karma. See, it's one thing to hear about it in a video and hear about somebody else's karma. But when you see someone else's karma that's right there that you were in a relationship with, Aries, it's a scary thing. You're like, oh my God, I had no idea this was going to happen to this person. But guess what? You're not responsible for their karma. They are. I just want you to know that. They are. Some of y'all are starting to feel sorry for some people. I'm telling you, Aries, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That karma is designed to help them ascend. Okay, I'm trying to help y'all. Listen. Okay, let's run it back. <laughs> this right here, all this up in here, these cards, let's run it down. The moon card, tricky love situation. Intuition is heightened. This is attached to Pisces. I'm about to tell y'all the whole story right here. I'm talking about this about to get really juicy because uh, these exes are, okay. You know, why am, I, why am I little setups trying to act like it's the, you know, peg leg with a kickstand on it? Yes, the death card. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, the high priestess. Mm hmm. Whoa, we about to get into it. The empress card. Whew, the lover's card. <laughs> Whoa, in the knight of cups. Mm. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Aries, let's talk about it. We're going to be talking about the number six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to break it all the way down. So Aries, let's talk about it. <sighs> when you all met this person, this person right here, this could be, this person could identify as a man or woman. So people who identify as a man, I'm not leaving you out because this could identify as a man or woman, right? It, this is a spirit because you know we talk about spirits, right? When you met this person, this is what they seem like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person right here, they seem like the knight in shining armor. Look at them, roses in hand. Look, even got the blanket with the, y'all see the grapes? 
Yeah, the grapes, the wine, the Lord love, no, everything. Y'all were like, you know what? I found my person. Whew, yes, I did. I found my person. The everything that I dreamed of. You know, you all had them little love notes, them little love, you know. Y'all know how y'all watch the cartoons. You see the hearts like fluttering through the air. That's how it was right there. As time went on, y'all said, huh. You know what I'm saying? You know when y'all start dreams and stuff, messages and stuff start being downloaded. Everybody get comfortable after a while, right? Because remember, a person always can present themselves like this. But the only reason that they can present themselves like this to your flesh is because there is something in your spirit that is out of alignment. Hear me, okay? Something is out of alignment. That's how you all were on the same frequency, even if it was for a minute. Remember, you all are givers. You all are givers. You all want to make sure everybody around you feels secure, right? And make sure everybody around you feels secure. This person right here is a receiver. They're magnetic, right? So let's say this is what they look like on the outside. And your flesh was like, hmm, they seem like a nice person. Something about your spirit says something is off with them. But because they, they clean up so nicely, they look so nice. They're talking whatever the kind of language that sounds pleasing. Maybe some things was going on in your life, Aries, that you just didn't catch it. Your spirit caught it, but your flesh didn't catch it, right? So your spirit was like, mm -mm, proceed with caution. Mm -mm, don't do not do it. Just something, something about this person is off. And you kept getting signs along the way. Maybe they had a little bit too close of a relationship with their mother. Maybe their family members seemed like they was, you know, they all rode the short bus. But you was like, oh, okay, you know. And you started justifying why you did not want to look down on this person. Because you're a nice person, right? Remember? You're a nice person, Aries. And I say that with being very sincere, not being sarcastic at all. Because you wanted to see the best in this person, you, you intentionally overlooked what your spirit was trying to tell you about that person. But as time went on, and we're talking about time as a measurement right now, as time passed, you started to see some things in that person. It was just something was a little tricky. Something was off. You know what I'm saying? You're like, wait a minute. Now, I, when I met the family, it was a little slow. <laughs> Look, y'all. Y'all not going to make me laugh, okay? Y'all know the family was a little slow. Y'all had somebody sitting over in the corner with some, you know, saliva just kind of just hanging there out there, out the side of the, that corner of their mouth. And you was like, okay, but you know, I don't want to be mean. Don't want to talk bad about anybody, so I'm not going to say anything. You toss around little jokes because, you know, you all are, like I said, positive energy. You all are upbeat. You all are bringing the light into a room no matter where you all go. You know, you're talking to people and they just seemed like they were just, it was like delayed. You know, their response was a little delayed. They didn't catch on. You were like, oh, okay, well, okay. <laughs> Maybe the joke was funny to me, but they just didn't catch on. You know what I'm saying, Aries? They were just slow. But you ain't want to believe that about your person, right? Because you was like, no, they're they nice. You know, so everybody come, everybody have that one person in their family. But it wasn't just one person in their family. It was a lot of people in their family that was just off. Something was just off about everybody they introduced you to. But you was like, okay, maybe this was the one that kind of sort of slipped through the cracks, you know, because how they presented themselves. You even thought this person was your twin flame. You know why? Because now you started to say, now you try to rationalize in your mind, something's off with them, but they, something's off about every single person they introduced me to. They hang around, they don't hang around anybody that is doing better than they are. They seem like they're the best one in the group. They're the smartest in the group. They're the most, you know, uh, and I'm talking about just like street smarts. They're the most intelligent one, the, the one that's most, you know, well-read, book smarts, all the other things. They seem like they're the best one in their team, right? But every time... Every time something comes through, some messages come through to your spirit, being downloaded into your spirit, and you address them, they always have a response. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's always something. Well, you know, this family, this happened with this family member. This My friend was this and that. They have every excuse under the sun. So, you, again, you kept giving them pass after pass after pass because you did not want to harshly judge them. But the messages kept being downloaded. 
messages kept being downloaded then after a while you was like you know what i can't even i can't even ignore this anymore as you started to vibrate higher and to ascend higher and you looking at youtube some some videos coming across your feed you know what i'm saying whether it was my video or other tarot card readers um but some of the messages that were coming across were almost identical and guess what some of us don't even know about each other. Some of us tarot card readers don't even know about each other. But the messages started, it's like, wait a second. All these tarot card messages are coming across almost identical. Whereas you all started to think, I wonder if they're talking to each other. The answer is no. These are messages being downloaded by the universe. Not only were they coming through dreams, your intuition was trying to, first of all, your intuition told you first, uh-uh, something's off with this person. Try to show you everything under the sun. But you wouldn't listen. Then messages start coming through YouTube, via YouTube. You start seeing messages on Instagram, social media. Everywhere you went, there was a message. Something is off. Something is off. Something is off. Now you are starting to listen to your intuition. You're really starting to listen to your intuition that no matter how the person presents themselves in the flesh, your spirit, you got to listen to your spirit first. So listen, now you all are like, Okay, you're in a relationship with the person and now your feelings are involved and you're like, okay, oh gosh, now your heart is involved. Again, your flesh, all of this stuff is involved. It's hard to get away from this person because yeah, now some soul ties and all that. On one hand, you're feeling great about life, like really feeling great about life, but it's something that was off about this person. Just It just kept nagging and nagging. Every message is coming through. We have full moons. We have blue moons. We have harvest moons, all kinds of moons. And messages are being downloaded. You hear it, everything under the sun. Finally, something happens. Boom. The universe said, okay, this person isn't catching any of the messages. Y'all planet Mars even went retrograde slowing some things down you still like something is off something is i just don't know what it is i'm getting every message under the sun scheduling personal readings with me with other tarot card readers psychics mediums everybody calling on ancestors on all kinds of stuff then boom all of a sudden something happens that's undeniable something happens that's undeniable you go through your period you're crying you're upset you're frustrated because this is the person that you fell in love with. This is the person that you've presented all kinds of excuses for under the sun, but they're nice. Their family is the one that's the problem. The friends around them, they're the ones that's the problem. Every single person is the problem except this person right here because this is how they presented themselves. Even though your intuition said, nah, -uh, run. I'm talking about run hard and fast. So the universe had to step in and say, you know what? I'm going to separate you from that person so you can see exactly what I was talking about, right? During that time, you said, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm this wonderful person. I know I'm fantastic. Days just, fine, just flying by. Remember when I talk about numbers, not necessarily, see, a lot of people talk about life path numbers, birth code numbers, all of that. I'm talking about the vibration of numbers, right? Like when I, like I said in my past videos and I said, like if you see, if you looked at the videos from like four and five, when I talk about, I use the number one as an example, right? So when we talk about the number one, you think of new beginning. It could be the first of the month, number one. It could be the first day of the week, number one. It could be the first day of a work week, number one. But you're thinking about new beginnings, right? You're thinking at a, about a, being a crossroad at your life, in your life, and all those things. So the number six carries its own special vibration, right? Number six, the vibration for the number six just means that once you realize how you can serve others with passion and joy, you can easily attract abundance and, and nurturing relationships, right? So something could have happened on the sixth of whatever month it is, right? Or it means that you're a giver. It means you're deeply compassionate, loving, and responsible. It also means you're natural nurturers. It means that you are very, very supportive. It means that you exude warmth, compassion, and wisdom. That is the number six, right? Because remember, as a as a divine masculine for my Aries, if your sun sign is Aries, divine masculine, you are a giver. But remember, you also have access to your divine feminine, right? So not only are you a giver, you are a nurturer, you are a receiver. Your person your your spiritual your spirit is very, very magnetic. So takers 
have no problem coming into your life if you don't nurture yourselves first. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, that's the number six. The number seven means that you have a rare quality of learning from past mistakes, right? When you think about the number seven, think about the lucky number seven, lucky, lucky number seven. Like you have lightning bolt intuitions. This is where I hear what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, boom, information starts coming into your life. You're like, hold on. I saw a three and a four. Three plus four is seven. I saw a five and a two. Five plus two is seven. Stuff starts coming through clearer. Remember? Remember, it doesn't have to be your life path number. It doesn't have to be your birth code number. We're talking about the vibration of numbers, simply the vibration of numbers. Very, very, very powerful, very powerful. And then we talk about the number eight, and I'm only giving you all a glimpse into these numbers and their vibration. Number eight are very, very generous. Even if you saw four plus four, two plus six, one plus seven, again, boom, very generous person. It also means that you are gifted with natural leadership and you are excellent in business, money matters, and management, right? Means that you have endurance and stamina of an athlete. So you're going, 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 saying, you know what? I'm not going to give up on this person. I know that their family's slow. I know that, you know, you know, they were in, they seem a little delayed. I know that the people hang up, the, uh, the people that they hang around are illiterate, but that's not my person. My person is a good person, right? But then again, the universe creates situations where it's undeniable, where you just cannot help it. It's like, you know what, even if you closed your eyes, you can't sleep because it's something off. Kids are telling you things. The, the person down the street telling you stuff. You get messages that's popping through. All of a sudden, you look over, you can see their cell phone. I mean, just the universe has a way of exposing the truth. The truth of the matter is... Aries, the truth of the matter is, is that you all have positive energy. You all are courageous. You all are determined. All these wonderful things that I've been telling you all about. This is what I'm saying. When you tap into this, it doesn't matter how a person seems. Let's put this down for a second. This person right here eventually looked like they were this person, right? Until you open up your spiritual eye and you couldn't deny it anymore. You were like, no, nah, I thought this person was like this. That's when people say, oh, yeah, they introduced me to their representative. To be honest with you, if you're dealing with a person who don't know who they are, it seems like they, they introduce you to their representative because of how they approached you, how they came to you in, in the flesh this way. But the truth, the truth, the truth shall set you free. The truth of the matter is, is that you made every excuse under the sun for them. Your intuition told you the first time, hey, something is off. I need you to back up so I can show you with your spiritual eyes who they really are. Because if I show you who you're, with your spiritual eyes who they really are, then you'll say, no, nah, it was nice to meet you, you know, but I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a real short response. You're not being mean to anybody. You did, You saw their whole life ahead of them. You saw them with the helmet on. You saw them banging their head up against the wall. You was just like, oh my God, what in the world am I getting myself into? But somehow they were able to dress it up like this. Yeah, they were able to dress it up like this, right? Yes. So not only that, we talk when we talk about you know, uh, we talked about the number six. We talked about the number seven. We talked about the number eight. We talked about the number nine. Nine lightning bolt insight intuitive downloads that come out of the blue and light up your mind. That's what I'm talking about. Coming out of the blue, lighting up your mind. You're like, you know what? This doesn't have to be a tricky situation. Something is off about this person. They try to present themselves this way. The only way I could have missed this, if I had too much going on in my life, this is why I keep telling y'all, Aries, remove all the clutter from your life. If you have family members that are this, you know, gaslighting you, creating all this mess, cut them off so you can see exactly who's coming into your life. Because listen, they will make the situation worse. Because your intuition showed you exactly who you were dealing with. But if you got family members and friends around you who's just, they are of no use. I'm serious. They are of no use to you. They're going to keep things cluttered where you're just like, how come I didn't see this? And how come I didn't see that? And how come my own family and friend, friends couldn't see it in this person? Nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. So a lot of you all, again, have your exes coming back into your life right now after the universe has removed them from your space so that you all you can create some distance so you can see who they really are and now you're sitting back and you're like wow 
I didn't see this. I didn't see that. I didn't see this, that, and the other. Now I'm seeing everything clearly. So here comes your ex. Tiptoeing, slithering back into your life. Moon walking back into your life. Here they come. Hey, you know, I was thinking. Oh, you thinking now. I didn't know you I didn't know you could think. Right. Yes. Oh yeah, I was thinking, um, you know, I was thinking that maybe we could talk or whatever. Coming back and coming back around with that gaslight and think they they got game, right? On the inside, you kind of sort of between getting frustrated, like, is this fool trying to play me? You want to go from zero to a thousand, and then you said nope. No, I'm going to sit here and listen to what they have to say, but I'm not going to listen for long because they're trying to disrupt my ascension. They're trying to disrupt me. So before you would have gotten gone off on them, coming at you sideways with the game, talking out the side of their neck. But now you're like, no, let me see what this person has to say because maybe they believe their own BS belief system. I know what y'all was over there thinking. No, we ain't talking about that BS. Yes, but maybe they believe their own stuff. But the more and more you spend a time away from them, the more and more you see them through your spiritual eyes. You're meditating more. You're doing your detoxes. You've even changed your diet because now you recognize there are certain foods that even clutter your energy space, right? You are vibrating higher. You're talking to people. You're attracting a new soul tribe. So they look very, very different. No longer do they look like this. Those fresh flowers in their hand are now wilted. Those grapes down there, them juicy grapes, now look like raisins. That nice bottle of expensive wine over there now looks like a 40 ounce. <laughs> they don't look the same anymore. Hair disheveled, grown out. They got a beard. Looking all crusty. Yes. Knuckles all ashy. All that. They look totally different now right they can't disrupt your peace at this point so now every they've been telling everybody else they all oh, oh they've been talking about y'all aries let me tell you your exes have been talking about you they've been like oh aries is selfish they're attention seeking they got outbursts of and they have outbursts of anger they have lack of patience you know i've been trying to work with the aries all this they have impulsive behavior and guess what they're walking around with egg on their face because you are none of those you are absolutely none of those. Again, you feel better than you felt in a long time. Now you see, you know what? How come I didn't see that helmet? How come I didn't see that chin strap? How come I didn't see that, that saliva hanging out the side of his mouth? And just, it just, just stayed there like it was suspended in time. How come I didn't see all of that at first? Now I see it all. Now I see it all. And that person... I'm going to sit here, I'm, a, I'm a trying to get her the benefit of the doubt, but they'll never have, even if I allow them to come back into my life, I'm, the boundaries are so firm, they may not even want to stay. Yes, let's get the rest of these cards. I'm telling you, whew. I tell you, when the universe steps in and starts separating people, but see, that the old you is gone. It, the old you is gone. Who they're talking to now, the person that they're talking to now I'm trying to run game on, doesn't even exist. That old person doesn't even exist. Oh, yes. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Look at all this money in your car. Look at all this money. Aries, when I tell y'all the fact that y'all are not going from zero to a thousand on people anymore, they don't even know how to take it. It's, it's causing them all kinds of disruption in their spirit. So whereas before they tried to make themselves look like they were the one that's cool, calm, and collected, now everybody's looking at them like, that's not the experience I had with the Aries. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So a couple of them, just to, just to warn you ahead of time, Aries, a couple of the people that they gossip to you, gossip um, that your ex gossip to, they're going to come around you and try it. They're going to try to set you off just to see if the ex, because remember that person is supposed to be a credible, they're supposed to be a, 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 you know, a credible person, right? So they may even try it. Family members may try to come around and try to set you off to see if you're going to go off. But see, now you're so cool, calm, and collected. You're winning, Right. You see them all for who they are. Yeah, a slow breed. All of them. All of them are slow. Whole family, friends, everybody they connected to is slow. Now you know how to open up this vault. This is how you release all this money. Like I said, 
Some of y'all get ready for promotions on your job because you have the Midas touch. Now you know how to hold your peace. You have the Midas touch, money. You know how to manifest money. Multiple streams of income, money. Being more conservative with your money, money. And traveling, money. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, Aries. Because you have, you have tapped into, you realize what they said about you. It used to have you like this feeling defeated but now you realize the key to open this vault right here is nurturing yourself first right listening to your intuition first letting them say what they want to say because they're all the only thing they're doing is creating their own bad karma for themselves that's what i'm talking about i'm telling you I mean, some of y'all was dealing with some slow studies but that's all right Everybody has been there, done that. But boy, oh boy, when you tap into the other side of your duality and you either start, if you are, and we're, since we're talking about you, you all being givers, when you tap into your own, your the other side of your duality and started nurturing yourself first and paying attention to your intuition, it's a whole lot of people that's going to be made of looking like a fool because they've talked about you like dogs behind your back. But now when those same people send their little informants or their little minions around to see if their person was telling the truth about you, that again, that you're selfish, attention-seeking, outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior, all of them are going to look like a bunch of fools, right? Yeah, every single last one of them, a bunch of fools. You gave this person a chance to do right by you. Now, whether it was a, 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 dis, a disability, a mental disability that they had no control over because it's just like a, a, a generational thing with them, but the fact that they tried to play you, what is that card? The fact that they try to present themselves like this, they should have just been honest and upfront. Hey, listen, I come from a family of people who are slow. I just want you to know, and there are times that I'm a little slow too, but I'm trying, I'm working on myself. I'm trying to get better, but that's not how they presented themselves. And see, as an Aries, you all would have said, you know what? Okay, I, I, maybe I can work with you a little bit. I can work with you. I know you're a little slow. I can get you hooked on phonics. I can get you some little books and little flashcards. <laughs> Listen, I'm about to cut this video off because Aries, they have really, really tried it. So, but in the in the future, just to close this out, so we're not gonna just we're not gonna just take too much longer. But but listen, Aries, because they tried it. See, the next time somebody comes into your space, you're only gonna be like, no, let me examine let me examine you with my spiritual eyes, so I don't make the mistake of allowing you into my space to contaminate me, so I don't even have to feel sorry for you. Those ones, their family, their friends, every single person around you. I'm sorry, around them that that joined in their little reindeer games of talking negatively about you. And to some degree, you know what, at some point, because you were trying to be nice, you were trying to, you know, be fair with them, but you knew your spirit was just, your spirit was like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to agitate you until you get rid of this person or at least create some space so you can see them for who they really are. They want to come back, Aries, but they're not coming back to the same person. So they got to go run a smear campaign and tell everybody, oh, Aries, is this, this is the reason why I don't want to be with Aries and this, that, and the other. No, you don't want to be with me because now I, I exposed your demons. My, the light in me exposed your demons and now because i'm standing in my power and i know who i am i didn't go back to you you trying to come back to me but no you stay right out there because i don't need you that's what i have for you aries like i said keep on winning aries and look mm -mm, no more charity cases no more charity cases y'all got too much money to make y'all have too much winning to do y'all have too many businesses to start y'all have too much traveling to do you don't have time for this low vibrating energy okay all right have a great one bye